So, he that speaketh in an unknown tongue, pray not unto men, but pray unto God, for no man understandeth what he prayed, how be it in the spirit he speak mysteries. So at times before you release statement in words, blow in tongue first. Change an atmosphere with tongue first. By the time you change that atmosphere, the atmosphere is charged, then you can begin to release words. In the name of Jesus, this is mine. In the name of Jesus, I go into so so place and I take what belongs to me. In the name of Jesus, the spirit of awareness, you will not discover that you are saying some certain things. You yourself will be wondering where are those words coming from? He said, with words and groaning that cannot be uttered. You'll be wondering where those words are coming from. So you develop your spirit, you, 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 you subject your blood to the way of the spirit by speaking in tongues. Your blood will have no option than to obey. It will obey. Jude verse 20 said, Dearly beloved, building yourself up on your most holy faith, praying in the Holy Ghost. We are praying in the Holy Ghost, you grow. And then you can grow because you are praying in the Holy Ghost. And if you don't exercise your authority, you can grow and not be strong. So when your spirit is growing, it means your faith is growing. When your spirit is strong, it means your faith is strong. So you can have a very big faith that is not strong. And you can have a small faith that is strong. So a small faith that exercises, that is always into exercise, can be strong. So you can be building, 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 building. You are large in the spirit. But you can't cause anything to happen because you are not into exercise. Who is very large here? There are large people. I'm not saying to, you are not large now. There are large people. You tell them to carry this one. You say lift it up like twice. Ooh. Ooh. When they drop you. <laughs> what happened? You say. If you then meet a small person who does exercise daily exercise and say pick that thing, he will just come. Pew, 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 and put it down. But he's small. He's feeding and doing exercise. The other one is feeding and not doing exercise. The other one, whatever you say in the scripture, he knows. When you, say, when you speak in tongue, you will grow. He says, I'm doing it now. And he's doing it. He knows. He's speaking tongue for eight hours. He's speaking tongue for 12 hours. He knows. He's large in the things of the spirit. He hears God speak. But he cannot perform them and bring them to pass. There are people who prophesy but cannot bring it to pass. It does not mean they are not of God. They don't exercise the things of the spirit. That is the difference. There are people who say, ah, I met somebody who prophesied, but yet his word did not come to pass. He's a false prophet. No, that's not how to trace false prophet. You can only know false prophet by the spirit of God. It's not by their activity. If you watch by their activity in our generation, you will not know false prophet. No, you will not know false prophet. So, he that laid his hand on the sick and the sick recovered, is he that though he might be small, though is a leap of faith that but exercised in the realm of the spirit can change anything. So how do you exercise? After you pray, try to demonstrate it. That's how to grow. Try to demonstrate it. For instance, you close from church and then I, I, I told you that, uh, you know, spiritual things, man is a spirit and he's being ruled, you know, in the spirit. Don't just go home and close your jota. Try to demonstrate the thing. Try to sit down 
and said in the name of Jesus, speak word and say, Spirit, I attach you to my word. Bring answer. Then watch. If the answer did not come, keep doing it. Keep doing the same thing. Keep doing it. <laughs> the walls of Jericho, they did not go once before the walls of Jericho fell. They went seven times. And it was not a shout that brought the wall down. That might the wall be one fall. They shall just help the wall to fall. Because their movement is already weakening the walls. They are moving. The walls is getting weak. As they go one time, the world is shaking. As they go another, remember, they are going according to God's instruction. So as they are going, if they had shouted, they won. Nothing would have happened. They go second. If they have shouted, nothing would happen. They only shouted, meaning you don't need to touch. Just speak, it will happen. Ah! And the world just failed. So the day you say, out! And nothing happened. You have not gone seven times. <laughs> you only go once and you are saying, out! They say, Jesus, I know. Paul, I know. Who are you? <laughs> Hallelujah. Are you sure you're picking something here? So send words in an air. Desire the Holy Ghost. That's number one. Desire the Holy Ghost. Number two, if you read the word of God and where you are reading is close to what you are going through, claim it. Claim it. Hold it tight. And use Pray in the Holy Ghost to blow it forth. I repeat, anytime you are studying the Bible or pastor is preaching one passage in the Bible that is close to what you are going through, claim it, hijack it, grasp it, and then use the Holy Ghost to blow it. Use the Holy Ghost to blow it. Hmm. We'll pick this point. And then number three, look for opportunity to exercise what you know. Don't keep what you know. Anything about God that you know, don't keep it. Look for opportunity to use it. Because when it continues to be in you without being used, it will corrupt. That ability will either go leave you or it will just be there, so redundant and so weak. Use opportunity. Look for opportunity to exercise what you know. Look for opportunity. Oh. There is a spirit in man. But the strength of the Almighty gives him inspiration. Not give man inspiration. Give the spirit inspiration. So it is your spirit that receives inspiration and passes it on to your mind. The day you become aware, it means you are aligned to the spirit. When your body find friendship with the spirit it becomes easy to assess God assessing God becomes very very easy you can easily assess God put your hand on your head while you are seated either one or two whichever one you can use one hand, you can use two hands, whichever one. And I want you to introduce yourself. And then you will say, my name is Bishop Miracle. Call your name. Call your name loud and clear. Who is born again and always stand in the presence of God. Say, blood, hear me from today. Never resist what is coming from my spirit. Say never. never. From today, I instruct you
to obey the instruction of the Spirit. Say in Jesus' name, from today, my blood obey every instruction that comes from the Spirit. Say amen. amen. Then I want you to believe that your blood heard you. There are cells in the blood and they are alive. So as you speak, they hear you. And the only way your spirit can express itself to the earth is through your words. For the words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. So life is not in blood. Life is in your words. Your blood will always, can only empower your flesh. What empowers your spirit is words. And if your blood had contact with words, you see me here sharing testimony. When my father placed me at the altar, when I died, 56 hours, my blood had already congealed. Doctor approved I was dead. My body was already stiff. 56 hours is almost three days. It's more than two days. 1994. There was already all proof that I was dead. My father said, okay. They should put me at the altar. They put me at the altar. He said, God should come and do burial. Then he began to speak. He said, I remember what you told me before this boy was born. So as he was speaking the word, God was not listening to the body talking to him. He's looking at the spirit of the word that was speaking. And I believe the word was looking for my spirit. <laughs> the spirit of Baba, through his word, was looking for my spirit that left my body. Maybe I was already in the hand of the angels or in the hand. I don't know whether it's hell or heaven I was going. I can't tell. But the spirit grasped me by the conviction of this teaching. I understood and then brought me back. Not because I was supposed to come back, but my father stood an argument and I've been able to come back. When my immediate elder sister Mercy died, her own was about 30, you know, something, uh, my immediate elder sister. I think she died, um, her own was 2000, 2001, between 2000 and 2001. Now, when, 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 when believers were praying, it was Mercy's own. Me, when I woke up, people were asking me, what did you see? I said, I thought I was sleeping. My own has no testimony like Mercy's own. Now, Mercy's own is related to this message. Now, look at it. She said she found herself in an expanse of land where she cannot understand where she was. But a man appeared to her she cannot understand. She couldn't understand which man. That the man held her and said, they are calling you. And then she said, who? She said, just watch. They are calling you. Then he held her by the hand. And then dragged her close to the door. She knew she came to the door and told her, enter the house. But how she enters her body, she cannot tell. She saw people crying. Everybody was weeping. She was watching everything and the man said, just enter the house. As she was entering the house, she woke up. Now, it will look like the man that held her was an angel. No, it's the spirit of one of those people that are praying. It will look like an angel brought her. No, why do we are speaking? Spirit of these people, are, anytime you are praying, your spirit is involved in that prayer. While you, are, you kneel down in your room and you are praying in your room, your spirit is not there with you. Is searching anything you are saying in that place. The spirit is searching the thing. He's looking for the thing. And, and, and the spirit will never return until it finds the thing. Depending on the kind of prayer you release. Spirit of Daniel never came back until Gabriel met him. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You don't understand. Can you sit down and say something brief? Just blow in tongue in a few minutes. Just sit down and say something clear. 
if you are filled with the Holy Ghost, just say something. Say something briefly. Just say something to God. Say something to God. Say something to God. Develop an aspect of your spirit tonight and say something to God. Say something to God. God say, as you raise a people, say something to God. The devil is a liar. If you are looking for Scooby, blow in tongue. And I tell you, your spirit will search where money is. You don't understand. Come on, say something to God. Mantapatosko Fratoska in Bezoto Tokoroba in Barabo Seprahaska in the name of Jesus. Now open your eyes. Let me tell you something. Have you ever seen? A man that owns business, an influential man who owns business, and the owner of the business dies, and the business still remains like that. The business will always get down. Even if the man has a lot of money, as generation unfolds itself, it will get to a point that will sell the business. Superstitiously, a person died. He said he has died with his money. Remind me to teach you the spirit of the creatures and how they operate. The spirit of the creatures and how they operate. Trees, they all have spirits. If they gang up against you, if creatures sit down and hold meeting against you, you can't escape. And they are the same thing God created to serve you. Have you ever imagined the sun and command the sun to serve you? There are people that are worshipping the sun. This same sun that is supposed to be our servant, it is some people's God. <laughs> the Bible says he created the sun and the moon and the stars also that they might date season and for years and for time. For who? For man. But there are human beings who go to worship the sun and they engage the sun against humanity. The same thing that is supposed to be your servant will be your enemy. And then when you don't know that your servant is an enemy, you are a goner. And there is nothing that happens within the jurisdiction of the earth that is not under the sun. And at times, when you wake up in the morning, look at the sun and tell it, you are my servant. Hmm. You cannot do anything against your master. I, Bishop Miracle Joseph Massin, who stands in the presence of God, command thee this day to do the will of God. You don't understand. If night, moon is coming at your eyes, set at moon, command it. You are my servant. Have you known that the scripture says the sun shall not smite thee by day? So it means the sun has scourges. It releases negative waves. It releases. When they say it cannot scourge you, it cannot smite you by day. It's not talking about because the sun is, is hot. It's hot and you don't say, oh, the sun shall not smite you by day. Let me come and hide in my room. You can be in your room and the sun is smiting you. You can be under the tree and the sun is smiting you. The sun may not even appear, but it is day. It will be smiting you. Sun is a god to some creatures. Moon is a god to some creatures. Stars are gods to some creatures. But ladies and gentlemen, the moon, the sun, and the stars are our servants. Because when God was creating them, we were in God. When he said, let there be moon. I was there. I was a witness. So you have to let the creator know, I am a witness to your creation. When you manifest, I was in God and I witnessed how you came out. Obey me. Son, I am your master and thou art my servant. Why did the son have to obey Joshua? 
What do you think makes the sun to obey Joshua? What do you think makes he said, he said, sun stand still and the moon stand still and they all stood still. You think they stood still because his name was Joshua? He understands by nature that the son is his servant. Jesus, one 